Hello people, this is Eric Cobra. And Rana Naraja. And this is Let's Play Guild Wars Blind. Last time Prince Rurik was killed by the leader of the Stone Summit. And well but we managed to get the refugees here. And on the downside we were killed by the combination of two healers. So a bit of up and down last time, yes? I would agree because I noticed that their healing ability said heal others. So if they keel, keep on healing the other healer, that is sort of a, uh, oh my god, this is douchey move. Did you know that an entire episode was dedicated to our failure at beating us to, that's 15, uh, okay, 13 minutes. But still, that's how long it took for us to finally die to those two. I mean, my god, I was shocked when I had to upload it. Anyway, Master Sable in here has a quest. I am Master Sablin. These refugees are tired and hungry, and their journey is far from over. What can I help you with? Hungry Devourer. We are short on every major supply, and to make matters worse, the damnable pet of old Max is eating what remains of our meat. See if you can talk to the man and find some way to feed his pet without sacrificing our remaining food stores. I tried myself, and his pet almost ate me. Max is on guard duty outside Beacon's Perch in Deltamore Bowl. Can you help me out with this? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I yeah. think I am getting some good stuff here. I remember that guy. To Kryter Refugees. We encountered Centaur Patrol on the road ahead and they're attacking the caravan. I need you to take them out quickly and report to Ranger Olsen. Right, right. Okay, let's see. Are there other side quests? Not as far as I can see. Well, we better check. Nothing else. Might be someone we could talk to, get some more lore, you know? Just Remember, I investigated this place the last time. I do not really think there's so much more to see. Well, might as well. Ooh, what's up here? One of those uh, ladies with that chest. Oh, yeah, true, true. And, hmm. You know, I know we had discussed this before, but is this really copper? It does not really seem like the thing that dwarves would use. What would dwarves use, if I may? I just, I just noticed that, uh, oh yeah, hello ninja-like lady. I just noticed that uh, the fortification seems to consist heavily of copper, but their own armor and their chainmail is mostly made of either iron or steel. Well, you might notice that these things are decorations mostly, so... Oh, okay, okay, that sort of makes sense. But it seems whatever it is, they make the roofs out of it too, it would seem. Yeah, I actually like it, this kind of architecture. So and I just Combination of, of stone, wood and metal. Well, makes kind of sense, that's what you would find in mountains like these. Yeah. And yeah, I just also, uh, you know, dig the uh, way it is actually made. The form and the shape and all that. It's very unique. Hmm. Although I did imagine something more Nordic looking, but then again, you cannot get everything you want. By the way, uh, did we ever really have anything that looked like stones or metal in our longhouses back in the day? I don't think so. Mostly wood. You must remember Denmark is not exactly filled with materials for making big constructions. I mean, we of course have some castles and stuff like around that, but... Back in the Viking days, wood were the most common thing to use. Yeah. And I think the largest piece of stonework, or castle if you will, is that, you know, uh, old castle with the red brick walls. Nice view! Indeed, indeed. Although Nothing I have... too shabby. Nothing up here, but a nice view, but I guess that's always something. Okay, we got one side quest, and then we can get on with the main mission, so that's not too much. I actually like this. Yeah, it's a nice place. I like it. Mm. But, you know, that there is something that I really would want. Do tell? Armor with better stats and not so, well, showing. Well... I know it was my own investment, yes, but really. You if have... I, it, imagine if I... 
in real life wandered around like this, you would have to carry me because I was already passing up from the cold. Indeed. And by oh the well, way, you're officially fan service now. Enjoy being a walking shirtless scene. Ugh. Okay. What oh, okay. Refugees are wandering around. Well, we're gonna talk to old Mac over here about his pet. Need to feed it without feeding it anything we actually need. We come so far on so, such adversity. There's no way I'm turning back. I'll see Kryta or I'll die trying. I know that Joe here can be a bit of a glut, but it isn't his fault. He's a grown young devourer and he's got to keep his strength up if he's to help me defend things around here. His favorite food is those succulent junipers that grow north of here, but I can't take him to go get him since I'm on duty. Would you help me out and go take Joe forwarding, would you? If you feed him about ten of the of the succulent juniper meats, that should keep him content for a long while. Sure. I really do not like this thing. Oh come on, it's a t it's tame. So so, there's no problem. It is still scaly, it has a lot of sharp things about it. But then again, I also like spiky armor, so maybe I should not talk. I mean, look at it, it's got scythe-like claws, twin poison stinger tails, exoskeleton, multiple eyes. I mean, what's not to love about this little creator? And it's not even trying to eat us. That's the most wonderful part. Yeah, but if we face such a thing in reality, I think it would probably panic or... I'm... Pro let me just say that this I would not approach I would not approach a thing like that in reality unless I had a very sharp oblong object with me. Uh that didn't sound good. I know it may not sound good in your ears, but I No 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 I heard didn't you hear that up ahead? Yeah, it was something about some centaurs. Yeah, somebody's under attack. Alright, we should go and help them. Get away, you damn spirit of winter. Well, these these guys can't stand up too much. Well, I bet I'm about... Yeah, I see a concentration of enemies up there, but... Uh... Well, they're not attacking, but still. Hold on. Uh oh. Get back here so I can kill you. Hold on, we need to protect you. Oh, he's not looking too good. No worries, I got some healing on him. So do I. And we got a lot of centaurs over there. And this... Are they coming over here? No, I just think they patrol sometimes. Okay, well, we gotta kill them later, but for now, let's move up here so we can get uh, Joe here his meat. The faster we can get this escort mission over with, the happier I'll be. Because you do not really like to escort this thing because there's a possibility it could be killed. Exactly! You hit the problem right on the head. I do that sometimes. Sometimes! Yes. And other times I end up with a dead egg. Okay. Oh! Su succulent junipers. Well, oh. let's get killing! Crush, kill, and destroy!
drop some yeah. healing just in case. And you know, still that pacifism also hits me. What? That pacifism also kills me. Heal. No, 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 it's the Junior Puzzle cast pacifism. I haven't cast it. Oh, okay. So don't worry, I'm not trying to curtail your violent ways, since that would be quite stupid. Yeah. Well, let's see. One, two... I also got some. And uh, do we have something to identify with? Yes, okay, how many have you got, Sucre and Johnny Pamit? I got five of them. Well, I got three. How many did we need? We needed six. Here, just take these. And please identify the sword when you find a time for it. It has improved sale value. That's about it. Just, you keep it then. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um... Well, apparently I fed it. Speak with old Mag in Dedrimore Bowl. Huh. Well, thanks. You just solved it for me too. Yeah, apparently it was not so many as I thought. Doesn't matter. We solved it, we can get back now. Next, Centaur Haunting. And goddamn is there a horde down there. Yeah, we got probably gotta be careful once we get back once we deliver back here. All we can just do is we used to do pick them off in small groups and then at a point in time well we basically annihilate them. Well, there are a lot, but these sensors are not the tough to opponents. If we just can ensure not to take on too many at once, I think we can handle it. Exactly what I just said, although it was a bit mumbling. That's probably why I didn't catch it. Hmm. By the way, do you notice something here? There's something wrong with this picture. Okay, it may just be me who is acting stupid now, but you see those mountains back there? Yeah. In all, I think it is called technicality or something, or technically, should the snow not cover the top of the mountains rather than just lie down the sides? Well, that'll depend on the wind and... I guess, and it'll probably also depend on how exactly the mountains are formed. Lots of factors can affect this. Hmm. Oh well. I just ask some silly things sometimes. No, no, it's not silly at all. It's a good question. I don't know enough about uh, geology and weather and stuff like that to give you a complete answer. Okay. There's a good lad, Joe. Awful. Thank you for taking such good care of Joe, Eric Cobra. You go tell Master Sable that he doesn't have to worry about Joe any longer. And back we go. Uh, wait, 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 Cobra. Wait, Cobra. Wait, wait, wait. Yes? Now that we have already dealt with a bit of the centaurs, why would we just... Uh... Go in there, have them respawn, and should we not just instead take on the horde now? Oh, you got a point. I am smart today! <laughs> just so you people know that it is not something wrong with me. I am still just my goofy, dumbfounded self. Spirit of Winter and a Centaur group is approaching. Scratch that! Fall back! There are more groups up ahead. Hope we can take out these. Okay, they are retreating. Good, good. They are retreating. They're not that difficult to deal with. Wow, this is colder than an ice beats rear end it is. Jesus Christ, the refugees are getting slaughtered up there. Uh, 
Yeah. Fire! Fire is real! Another group is incoming! I noticed! Some of them did something to my head. Uh, yes, that's called deep wound and it is kind of dangerous. I realized it must be from this warrior, so better just get care of him quickly. 